What's going on guys? All right, so today we got in the mail, hopefully the last inverter that I'll ever have to deal with in this uh, in this camper. Um, we got the GoPower 3000 watt inverter charger. Um, it is sitting right there. We're gonna do an unboxing here in just a second and uh, then I'm gonna be installing it in the camper. So uh, stick around for all the goodies. Be right back. All right, brand new packaging. Okay. All right, down to the goodies. There she is. 3,000 watts of glory right there. Um, let's see. So we got some end caps for the positive and negative there. Um, this is the battery temperature sensor for the charging aspect of this so that uh, it won't charge your batteries whenever it's too cold. Um, this thing's pretty heavy, so I can't pull this out one-handed, so let me get it out and um, I'll be right back. All right, we got her out of the box. Um, this thing is every bit of the 50 pounds or whatever. Um, very sturdy, solid material. Um, let's take a walk around. Here's the panel right here that you undo to connect your wiring for your AC lines. Um, looks like you have resettable breakers for the 50 amp uh, input and output for those um, AC lines. Um, got the back side. This is where your remote hooks up to battery temperature sensor and obviously the positive and negative of the battery there. Um, ground, chassis ground. All right, so we're gonna be putting her in here, but I'm gonna have to pull this out real quick because I have to redo the wiring for um, for this and uh, the, uh, the shunt and everything. So let me get this pulled out and I will be right back. Okay, so I had previously had this wired for a 24 volt uh, Ames inverter charger and I ended up sending it back because it the thing just wasn't working right that's why I ended up going with the, the go power um, but so I'm rewiring the uh, all the wires here I've got them because the, the main positive used to be on the left side the way that I had the battery configured for 24 volt um, now the main positive is on the right side of right here main negative right here um, so I had to re-drill a hole here for the main negative to go to the shunt and then everything on the negative side is going to connect here and then I had to re uh, make a new wire for the power because uh, it used to come out right here anyway but um so from here I'm going to be connecting this and then the other side of this positive will go to the positive side of the inverter um, I need to run and get a few more screws real quick, but uh, this is what I've gotten done so far. Um, so let me get a little bit further along and then I will be right back. All right, so this is what I've got so far. Um, I had to modify this case so that it would go over um, this fat lugs. All right, so um, fuse covered up. I have my balance meter right here. I have my shunt that I still need to connect to the other, the negative that goes from here to here on the inverter. Um, then I have my on off switch that the other end of connects to the positive side of the inverter. All right, so now that I have the box rewired, um, I also went and bought a uh, piece of a cutting board because of the gap that's here. I, I'm gonna put this down. And then um, I have some more of this this uh, foam material that came with the battery cells. And I'm going to put a layer of that to put pressure on this so whenever we're traveling it doesn't bounce up and down. Because I have a lid for the box. And whenever it's in the compartment it will look exactly like that um, in that corner right there. Um, but once I get to that stage, I will film a little bit more and show you my progress. All right, so 
I got the positive from my charge controller connected. The negative is over here, and that's gonna go to this side of the shunt. But uh, now that I got my positive connected, I'm gonna put my cutting board in here with my piece of foam and then drill the lid down. And uh, once I get that done, I will show you what it looks like pushed over into the side of the compartment here where I want it. Be right back. All right, so this is the setup. We got the box with the lid, the cutting board, and the piece of foam pushing down on the battery so that it is in there securely. Um, I have the negative of my charge control connected, and then I have the main negative that's going to go to the inverter draped off to the side here because now I'm about to put the inverter in here and uh, situate that, and then I'll be connecting the AC lines to the inverter. And uh, once I get a little bit further along, I will be right back for an update for you guys. All right, so this is where I'm at so far. Um, I got the inverter mounted to these two by fours so that it's raised up in case, because uh, the sink is on the other side of this, in case anything happens, a water line breaks or something, at least this is gonna be raised up and uh, hopefully won't get any water damage. All right, so um, I'm about to push this over. Um, I put this little uh, board right here and I screwed it down to keep this um, uh, against the wall so that when we're traveling, it doesn't move around. All right, and uh, I'll be uh, screwing this down as well once I get it in the, in the position that I want it. But this is how far I've gotten so far and I will be back. Now, all right, because uh, our inverter is a automatic transfer switch uh, charger inverter. What I need to do now is I have to tap into um, shore power, which connects to this right here. And I need to run this 10-3 straight back to the inverter and then have another one of these 10-3, 10, 10 meaning it's 10 gauge by three wires, back up into the breaker panel. So shore power will come in and go through to my inverter charger combo first and if we're connected to shore power the uh, shore power will charge the uh, the lithium iron phosphate battery and if we're not it'll reverse that and we'll run off the batteries all right so that's what i'm doing right now i just disconnected this wire right here this is the new one i need to strip it back and screw the appropriate wires into the appropriate terminals and you see they're color coded so you can't really mess it up all right, so let me go ahead and get this in, uh, these wires screwed in, and I'll be right back. All right, and you're going to get them screwed in just like so. And as you can see, black on black, white on white, and green on green. And then you're just going to put every, all of this back together the way that you took it apart, uh, snake it back in the hole, and re it so you don't have any water leaks. All right, once I go around to the other side, I'll be right back. All right, so this is the 10-3 that is coming from the output of the inverter. I have it, I ran them together so they both go under the, the camper and uh, that's the one that's gonna go to the input of the inverter because you can see it's on the back side of that uh, 30 amp RV plug. And this one coming in from down there in that hole underneath the shower, I'm gonna have to bring in through this hole right here and connect to this top breaker right here, the uh, the neutral bar and the uh, ground bar. So let me get that hooked up and I will be right back. Okay, so you can tell it's these a little bit fatter wires right here. Those are um, my 10-3 that is coming from my inverter. Um, and I am going to, they're all hooked up now, so I'm about to plug shore power back in and uh, see if power flows through that inverter charger like it is supposed to. All right, let me go do that and I'll be right back and show you. All right, so this is a 30 amp uh, service camper, so we don't need to use both of the hot legs. So you're gonna have your hot leg, your neutral, and then your two grounds connect over here for the in, um, and then the out uh, hot leg, skip one and then neutral and then the ground for the out so your two grounds are right there and then that's how you wire the ac side for this for 30 amp um for 50 amp service you would use the other hot leg there for the in and the other hot leg for the out 
All right, so I'm almost done. I just need to screw down these two by fours so whenever we're traveling, this doesn't bounce around. Um, I have my battery monitor hooked up and I have my remote for this inverter hooked up. Um, I don't know where I want these. The, the, Renergy, the wire for the Renergy battery monitor is really short. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just mount it on the inside of the camper, just on the other side of this wall um, in the kitchen area for now. Um, that's the one drawback of this thing for the price. You would think they'd send you a long enough wire like the Go Power does for theirs, but uh, they don't. So um, everything's working right now, as you can hear. The AC is going, um, so power is coming through and out of the Go Power, so it's working perfectly so far. Um, I think that's it. If I think of anything else, I'll go ahead and film it before I edit and upload this video. But it's pretty simple, guys. Uh, anyone can tackle this. Even building the battery is really simple. I'll probably catch a lot of hell about the battery though because I didn't use a BMS. Um, but everything that I have is programmable from my charge controller to the go power um, And I have the parameters set so low that it's never going to get overcharged or it's never going to get discharged too far So, um, you know, it's my setup roast me if you want. I don't really care um, But uh, I'll give you an update, you know, probably like a month or two in of using the system and everything but um, any questions comments concerns leave them down below as always, guys, thanks for watching.